Watch you guys got another video on how to create a Windows 11 installation media for any PC. This works on unsupported hardware as well. So if you've got an old PC and you want to run Windows 11, then you can use this method to create a bootable USB flash drive with Windows 11 on it and just install it. And it will go straight on the system without having to do any tweaks or anything like that to the registry to bypass the system requirements that Microsoft have put in place. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use Rufus. Now Rufus has been around for quite a while, but they've got a really unique uh, feature on here that allows you to download an ISO straight from their software. And also it allows you uh, to uh, install this on unsupported hardware or on a supported hardware machine. You can download a portable version or an installer version. I'm going to download this and get it installed. This is what it's going to look like once you get this installed. Before you start, if you want to download the ISO, you will need to come down to this little section here and check for daily updates. Put this on uh, uh, on daily updates default and then include beta versions and you have to say yes here. Once you put this on yes, we can close this and then basically up here, this little drop down arrow should give you an area saying download and uh, select. So select download if you want to download it from this site here. These downloads are pulled from Microsoft servers, so they're safe to download via this method. Once you've got a Windows 11 version selected, click on continue, and then we can move on to the next step, which is choosing which version you want to download. As you can see, there's versions here which you can choose from. Choose the version you want, click on continue, and then it's going to ask you uh, what edition you want. And I'm going to leave that as is, click continue. And now what language do you want to use? I'm using English International. Click on Continue and then X64, which is 64-bit. And we'll allow this to download the ISO file. Now, again, these are being pulled from Microsoft servers. So they're safe to download via this method. And that is now downloaded. If you want to download it from Microsoft, you can do. You can head over to the Microsoft website and go down to the very bottom here. And it will say Download Windows 11 uh, disk image which is your ISO select Windows 11 multi edition and then click on download this will verify what you're trying to do here then choose one which is your language I'm going to say English International click on confirm it will do some more verifying and then it will give you the 64-bit download link click on this one and it will then start downloading your ISO file whatever way floats your boat choose which way you want to do it once you've got your ISO we're going to head back into Rufus and what we're going to do is we're going to select our ISO image. I've got it selected on, on here. So what I'm going to do next is change some of these settings on here to suit my needs. Now to browse for your ISO, you would need to click on select and then choose your ISO. I've already got mine selected here, but this is where you would select your ISO. Click on this and choose your ISO and then click open. Once that's selected, you can then choose your image option, which is standard Windows installation. Uh, the partition uh, scheme here is going to be GPT or MBR, depending on how you want to set yours up. Target system will be UFI, non-CSM, or you can choose another option. I'm going to leave this as is, but if you change this to uh, MBR, you'll be able to change the target system. So let me quickly just show you that. I'm going to change the GPT to MBR, and then you can change the target system to something else like BIOS or UEFI-CSM. Uh, uh, and these BIOS settings are in your BIOS, so you can change these to whatever you like. I'm going to leave this as GPT, and we will leave this as is. And what we're going to do is change the volume label, or you can leave it as is. NTFS file system is fine. Click Start, and you will get this Windows user experience. This is to remove requirements for 4 gigabytes of RAM check, secure boot, and TPM 2.0. You can also put the check mark in uh, disable data collection and skip privacy questions. You can also set it to local account using the same name as the user. And then you can also set it for set regional options using the same values as this user. So this will save a lot of time and you won't have to do any sort of checks or any sort of registry tweaks or anything like that during the installation process. If you're on unsupported hardware, it will just go ahead and install it. Once we get these check marked the way you want them, click OK, and it will say, are you sure all the data will be erased on that USB flash drive? You can use a flash drive of 32 gigabytes. That should be perfectly fine. And this will start then copying all of the data over to our USB flash drive. 
So this does take a bit of time, so I'll speed this process up. And once that's done, you should have the completed uh, USB flash drive, and you can then put that into your computer and boot to it and change the boot order in the BIOS to then install your version of Windows 11 on any PC that you like. So if your PC is unsupported hardware, it will still install on that PC. And if you want to set one up for uh, installing it on a modern computer, which does support uh, Windows 11, just remove the check mark from the TPM checks because we don't need to worry about that because you've got a PC that's compatible uh, with Windows 11. But that's basically it. That's how you can uh, install uh, Windows 11 on any PC uh, by using the Rufus method. Very straightforward and easy to do. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. If it has, then let me know in the comments section down below. Also give the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button uh, for more videos like these. And I shall see you in the very next video. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who are joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall see you on our Discord server. Have a lovely weekend and I shall catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.